Hello, my name's Dave, and I'm one of the applied science teachers at Stockton Sixth Form College. Why BTEC Applied Science? Why think about doing this course? Well, look at this young lady here. She's just finished her GCSEs. I want to do a degree which has something to do with medicine or childcare, but my GCSE scores aren't brilliant. Okay, she's got maybe fives and sixes, maybe one or two sevens as well. I think that A-level biology and chemistry would be really hard, and that is true. You know, to do A-level biology, chemistry, physics, you should have at least grade sixes, at least grade sixes. And if you've got grade sixes at GCSE, you're going to find them hard. Okay, it's not, it's not called A-level for nothing. I'm a hard worker and I can meet deadlines, but I found GCSE science quite hard, especially the maths. Uh, I enjoy practical work and I enjoy finding things out for myself, doing research. What should she do at college? Any ideas? What do you reckon? This young fella here. I enjoyed science at GCSE and I would like to learn more, preferably getting some UCAS points for it as well. Uh, I want to join either the army or the police when I leave college. If I get some good grades, then I will join at a higher pay rate. Uh, I might do an apprenticeship, but I know that there's a lot of competition for the good ones. I need to show that I can meet deadlines and that I can work part as part of a team. What should he do at college? Hmm. Okay, so why BTEC Applied Science? It is an interesting course. There's a bit of physics, there's a bit of chemistry, there's a bit of biology, uh, there's a lot of coursework. It's about 50-50 coursework and exams. Uh, it is a level three course, uh, but it's a lot easier than A-level. There's a lot of deadlines. You have to meet deadlines, you know, assignments that you must get done and you must get a good job done of them if you want a decent grade, okay? But in terms of the actual stuff that you have to learn, say, for example, in biology, it's about AS level and there's a lot less of it, I would say. It is easier than A-level. It will get you onto most university courses if you get a good grade. If you get kind of distinction and merits, then there's an awful lot of courses you can do at university. And it's a very good path to apprenticeships as well. Talk a bit more about that in a minute. Look at this table. This is an interesting table. I think it speaks for itself. If we're talking UCAS points, you know, uh, to get an A in A-level biology is an awful lot harder than getting a, a distinction in BTEC Applied Science, okay? Same amount of UCAS points though. Warning, if you're mad keen on doing medicine at Newcastle or Durham or Leeds, or veterinary science. Uh, a lot of universities, well, some universities um, want A-levels. If you want to do medicine, then you really need to be doing A-levels and a few other subjects as well. Uh, however, bear in mind that they will want good A-levels. They'll want top grades. They'll want A-stars and A's. And you've got to ask yourself, look at your GCSE results. If you are going to get A's and A stars at A level, then these are the students who are getting eights and nines at GCSE. If you're getting fives and sixes at GCSE, maybe one or two sevens, it is unlikely, not impossible, but unlikely, no matter how hard you work, that you will get A's at A level. OK, so be realistic, be honest with yourself. Uh, BTEC is a much easier path to university, not to do medicine, but an awful lot of medicine related courses like uh, stuff to do with childcare, 
occupational therapy, uh, physiotherapy, you know, paramedic science. There's an awful lot of courses you can do at university. So be honest with yourself in terms of are your ambitions realistic? So what's on the BTEC course? I'm not going to tell you on this video. Uh, look on my YouTube channel. There you go. That's my YouTube channel. Uh, and there's videos on all the different topics. Have a read. Uh, hopefully you'll find it interesting. Uh, at Stockton Sixth Form College, we do Edexcel Pearson Extended Certificate, which is worth an A level. The certificate is worth AS, the extended certificate is worth an A level. Uh, I might even see you next year. That'd be good, wouldn't it?